everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and like my vibe, subscribe. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 fragrance myths for fall from Victoria's Secret. And I just want to say, excuse my appearance, it is storming today, it's cold today, it's like our first day of fall weather officially. And I've been up since 2.30 because in the morning I couldn't sleep. I've worked a full day and done things after work. And now I need to get these videos out so I don't have all my makeup on, you know. So y'all just excuse me. But let's focus on the smell goods, okay? <laughs> so these are in no particular order. I think I've talked about all of these on my channel before so let's get into it number one is love spell la creme so the notes in this are peach blossom cashmere and cashmere woods this to me is a softer version of the original love spell which i'm not a fan of that i mentioned in my uh victoria's secret haul this one is softer I get the pear I get plum a little woodier a little muskier I just really it surprised me I really really like this so that is love spell la creme next I have emerald crush love this packaging I you know, I wish I would have just gotten all the fragrances just in this collection for the packaging because I love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I have here the notes Pear Fizz, Freesia Glow, Lux Life. <sighs> you know what this smells like. I am not, I really don't drink alcohol. But when I smell this, I think of pear champagne. So some of y'all tell me in the comments, is there a, champ is there a pear champagne? Because <laughs> that's what I get from this. I really do. That is what it reminds me of. Light, fizzy, effervescent. It's just so good. Just it, pear champagne. That's, that's what I get from Emerald Crush. And I really love it. So I'm going to go with Bear Vanilla. Now this is a warm oh, gourmand vanilla. I love this. And I know a lot of people say they prefer vanilla lace. Now I, re I remember when vanilla lace was at Victoria's Secret and I didn't like it. But I did notice as I mentioned in I think my fall top 20 fall fragrances that it as I in my 20s I really didn't love sweet fragrances. I like some, like Fantasy was my jam, but I don't know. So I wish I could smell vanilla lace now, but I am not paying those prices to smell it. So I do like Bare Vanilla. It's really good. It's really warm. And I love to layer it. And I do, and this is strong enough to wear on its own. Bare Vanilla is good. And to keep with the vanillas, this is Bare Vanilla La Creme that just came out. This is Decadent Vanilla Orchid and Spun Sugar. Now this to me is the light, fresh version of, what was that? Bare Vanilla. Because some people say they get minty toothpaste. I don't get that. But I do get a very light, think of like, dusting of vanilla think of snow and then think if the snow smelled like vanilla coming down <laughs> that make any sense but that's what i get just a light fresh dusting of vanilla it's very pretty i really enjoy it and yeah bare vanilla la creme okay my floor is like so next is a vanilla dusk this is tahitian vanilla honey fig autumn embrace 
this to me is deep, but it's got a freshness to it. Let's just say it's got depth. Honey, syrupy, vanilla. I do get a little fig, not too much, because y'all know how I am with fig. But this is good. This is really, this is so good. And you will see in an upcoming video, or the, that video might come up before this, I'm not sure yet, how I wear, what I pair this with. So next I have Radiant Berry. And this is White Raspberry, Creamy Woods, Sunsets Aglow. And this is just, it is a creamy raspberry fragrance. Now I must say, when I first spray this, I do get the raspberry, but as I wear it, it kind of morphs into smelling like a strawberry. So I'm gonna say it's a creamy raspberry slash strawberry scent. Yeah, it's really good. I really like this. And as I mentioned before, I am picky about cherry, strawberry, and raspberry fragrances, especially fragrance mist, and this is a good one. Oops. So uh, next, we're gonna talk about Velvet Petals. And this Lush Blooms Almond Glaze made you blush. Hmm. Now, this is a fluffy, airy, almond, floral fragrance. But I must say, even though it's called Velvet Petals, I don't, the floral notes are not the main fragrance notes I get to me. I really get the creamy almond more so than like a creamy nutty fragrance with undertones of fl with floral undertones and like i said this one took me it took me a while to even smell it because you know they're always coming out with new collections who has time to look at the signature line <laughs> so but i heard i was hearing quite a bit about this one and so i was in the store so let me smell it and i really like it now so velvet petals Next, I am going to talk about Tempting Pear Jasmine. This is Juicy Pear Alluring Jasmine to be desired. Now this, to me, smells like a sweet pear dessert. Think of pear with brown sugar, glaze, that's what it smells like. It's good. It's not what I would consider a fresh pear fragrance. It's very gourmand pear. Very good. So this is Dreamy Plum Dahlia. Love this packaging. This is Golden Plum Soft Sandalwood Sweet Escape. This is just a pretty woody plum fragrance it's just yeah oh really really love this one and i went into more detail in my previous video when i did the haul i'll have it up above this is so pretty and so good if you like plum fragrances i really think you would enjoy this Okay, you all, I'm checking. No, see, I knew I forgot one. This is Lotus Desire. How could I forget this one? White Lotus Deep Woods Lost in the Moment. Oh, this is a creamy, woody, sweet floral. Oh, this is so pretty. And it reminds me of something has a freshness to it. Maybe what's coming to mind now, and I have a sample of this fragrance, that Honey Mori Butterfly fragrance. Yeah, is it reminding me of that? I think it is, but oh, this, as I mentioned in that video, 
when I did the review of this line, this is, was my favorite. And this is the one I was so unsure about, but I love this one, love it. All right, you all, those were my top 10 fall fragrance myths from Victoria's Secret. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and like the video. Please leave me a comment below telling me what fragrance myths you've been loving from Victoria's Secret because they have been fire. They have been killing it with all their collections. I have been loving, I think, I, everything except two fragrances from the La Creme line that I did not really care for when I smelled them. But you know, you can go back and change your mind. But everything else I have been absolutely loving from Victoria's Secret. So let me know what you've been enjoying from Victoria's Secret. And please turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video because you wouldn't want to miss it. And share this video with anyone who loves Victoria's Secret as much as we do and anyone who you think would just enjoy the video, period. Let's keep the channel growing, shall we? So, as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.